Genius Pie Trap here and just showing you guys a video on how to add any game to your Steam library or program, you know, like maybe Microsoft Excel or iTunes or something like that. Or any game, you know, maybe the a game that you bought off Origin or Green Man Gaming or just a game that's not available on Steam, something like Diablo 3. And you still want to access it through your Steam library. Instead of having games all over your computer, it's just nice to have them all in one place. So on the upper left here, if I left click on games, and on the bottom here it says add a non-Steam game to my library. I left click on that, and this populates a list of games and programs on my computer. Again, I could put Firefox on there, or Music B, and it doesn't have to be a game. And if I don't find what I'm looking for here, I just go to Browse and find where I want. In this case, I'm going to select Hawken, which is an excellent free-to-play mech game that is not available on Steam. But uh, even though it's not available on Steam, you guys should check it out. But anyway, I want to add it to my Steam library. So I just select it like that and add selected programs. And there it pops up right there. And, you know, as you can see, if you guys like grid view, this is detail view, list view. A lot of people like grid view. And anytime you add this, it doesn't uh, come up with a nice icon like this. But uh, there's a good way to change that. And I have a video showing how to change your grid icons. And I'll post a link in the description. But anyway, now a, prob a common problem with adding games like this is you shut down Steam, you restart your computer, whatever, and you start it back up and they're all gone. For whatever reason, it's a, it's a known bug that it just disappears. The way to fix that is you want to go to your, on your hard drive, go to your Steam folder. In my case, it's on the E drive and Steam. You know, if you want to do a search for Steam, I'm sure that'll pop up. And you want to go to the user data folder. And there should only be one folder in there. There might be two, but you want to check it around. But it's just usually a random set of numbers. Double click on that. If you go on towards the bottom here, you're looking for the config folder. You know, double click on that and there's a file shortcuts that's the folder you want you want to right click on shortcuts go to properties and select read only now so when you do this it won't overwrite it there's a bug that overwrites the folder and makes it uh, you know get rid of those uh, shortcuts now the only thing to keep in mind is once you right click read only to add more games in the future you're gonna to have to disable option so here I'm going to click apply. So if I wanted to add more games, I wouldn't be able to do it until I go back to the shortcuts folder, go back to properties, unselect this, hit apply, hit OK. Okay. But in this case, I am going to leave it on because I want my Hawken to stay there. Okay. And that's it. You know, again, check out my video to change this icon. And thanks for watching. Hope you guys liked it. Subscribe, like, comment, ask any questions. Talk to you later. Bye.